I lost a lot of money uh, buying tickets to come here and have long leg. Oh I say, God. Salam Det Nachu, how do you answer? For Salam Det Nachu? Uh, uh, so I am going to learn some few words in Ethiopian. I want to learn to say, hello, how are you? So how do I say it? Salam Det Nachu. Salam Det Nachu. Salam Det Nachu. I am recording from Ethiopia. So I can just say salam net nachu. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me try it. Salam net nachu. So when I say salam net nachu, how do you answer? For salam net nachu. Pronunciation. I I didn't say it well. Salam net nachu. For more people, yes. when it's for only one person. Salam det nash. Ah, salam det nash. Yes. Okay, salam det nash. It means for one person. If it's many people, I say salam det nash. Det nash. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so excited to learn another language and different ways to say hello. How are you? I'm so excited. I almost forgot to ask this. <laughs> it's my first time in Ethiopia. Yes. <laughs> so I'm happy. The people, are, you are so kind. And it's something that I saw when I first arrived. I realized everyone is so warm and kind. And I'm enjoying my stay here. <laughs> thank you. So how do I say thank you? I'm a second I'm a second Mm, That's thank you in Ethiopian. Amasek Nadio. Thank you. Umbrella. So we want to explore a little bit, but the weather is not good. It's raining. We are in Ethiopia. It's raining right now. So I'm just going to walk in the rain because I want to explore the shops around and come back wet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Come here. Uh, no, it's not safe yeah. to record around the, yeah. the road. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, I'll just stop recording. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll put in my bag. So just walking is okay. Okay, walking is Just uh, walk around and come back. It's, it's okay. okay, but yeah. no cameras. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, you just advise us that it's no safe to walk around recording like this. So I'm just going to put my camera in the bag and uh, I will just show you a little bit if I'm in the shop or something, okay? But anyway, this is our surrounding. We are at uh, Ambassador Hotel and the, uh, the people are so nice. He's so nice, you see? He's really helping us. It's raining. We don't have an umbrella. We just want to stretch our legs. So I'm going to be ending our vlog right now. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Simply Rhoda. If it's your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I am on the trip and I'm recording it live. Right now, I am at Ambassador's Hotel, Ethiopia. Just now, I wanted to give you a tour around the hotel. But unfortunately, the weather decided to have its own way. It's raining and um, I don't have an umbrella. I don't know my way out. I was just hoping to walk around. I don't want to take a taxi or a car. I just wanted to walk around the hotel and show you the surrounding areas in Ethiopia. It's my first time here and already I'm having positive vibes here. I like it. Coming here, as you know from my previous video, was not part of my plan. I wasn't planning to stay longer in Ethiopia, having a longer um layover like now but because of the circumstances beyond my control i end up staying here and i don't want accounting it is bad because i also got the opportunity god knows when i was gonna have a single trip to ethiopia but now because of that heat you know i am here and i am enjoying the environment the people like my first impression the people are so warm they are so kind well from the airport to the hotel everything is just kind and they are just ready to offer help you know everyone's just smiling that's my first impression 
And I think it's also good luck because it's raining, as you can see. I'm just sitting at the, at the hotel lobby. It's raining right now, and this is amazing. For me, as an African, I think rains bring good luck, and rains means good thing, you know, good luck and stuff like that. So I believe my stay here for this short stopover, I think it's a good luck that will also bring good memories. Like I said, first time in Ethiopia, first time to eat Ethiopian food. I lost a lot of money uh, buying tickets to come here and have long layovers, but I am not feeling sad about it. I actually, I'm enjoying it now. I'm actually appreciating it. Well, look guys, the way that it's getting, the rains are getting stronger and stronger and this is nice this is really nice i'm loving it i am sitting at an open balcony like the lobby open balcony area i think it's for smoking but there's no smoking uh smell there's no cigarette smell here it's just i'm just breathing the fresh air you know the rains yeah this is just nice so this is the hotel i will give you a tour and uh the good thing is the meals I was wondering how the Ethiopian meal food tastes. I had my first taste at this hotel because I came in the morning, I had breakfast, and I was kind of wondering what kind of food I was going to eat here because I've never, never eaten Ethiopian food or never seen it because I don't know people from Ethiopia, so that maybe I, would, I might have tasted if I do, but I don't have. so. First time in Ethiopia, first time to eat Ethiopian food, and I love it. I love the breakfast. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to eat um, lunch because I slept. I was tired, so I slept throughout the lunch time. I missed lunch, and uh, now I'm going to be testing the dinner. And after dinner, I will be getting ready to go to the airport because my flight is leaving in early in the morning and I need to check in tonight. So later tonight, I'll go to the airport to check in and leave. But my general um, impression about Ethiopian people is they are kind and warm. So let me know in the comment section, if you are from Ethiopia, let me know in the comment section, hit me and subscribe and follow me. Let me know the places that I should have had a chance to visit and why I should come back to Ethiopia again for a tour now that would be specifically Ethiopia, not layover, not heat up, I just coming specifically for touring Ethiopia. So let me know the places that I should visit. If you are from Ethiopia, comment in the comment section. Recommend the best places to visit, what you see there in the comment section. So yeah, I am in the hotel lobby right now. There, are, there is Mr. Tyler. He's just glued on the phone. Well, that's how I can control him because he was whining, he's tired, but luckily the phone is helping us. I don't usually allow him to play on the phone, but today we have no other option. We slept throughout the day, and so I let him play a little bit. So there is, Tyler, say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's raining. This is the place. It's warm, it's cool, it's cozy, yes just sit here well because we decided to sit outside we can sit inside it's also very cozy and warm you can see from the picture and i'm having fun i actually love it i i didn't know oh thank you thank you <laughs> yes i i was recording without the light so he came and turned on the light so i think you can see the difference the light is turned on um but anyway the natural light is still there so Thank you guys. I'll catch up with you. I'll give you an update. I'm actually enjoying it. I can say it's a blessing in disguise. My treatment at Arare International Airport wasn't great. But now that I'm here, maybe there was a reason why I should come here and see this place and also have an encounter with Ethiopian people and test the real authentic Ethiopian food. So, well, I, after all, um my journey started on a bad note but now i am actually enjoying it because i was given a voucher for the hotel with three meals because i'm spending more than 17 hours in this country because of the weather i can't go out to show you around the city but that would have been nice 
like I had planned to go out now because it's um, 5.30. So I was hoping to go out for like two hours and then come back and have dinner and then get ready to leave. But unfortunately, the weather is not that great for that, for a city walk. So yeah, maybe another time. So let me know in the comment section now if you know Ambassador's Hotel, Ethiopia. Tell me the places that I can visit that are close by. So thank you, y'all. Bye. Okay, so this is the stairway to their lobby of the hotel. So there we go. Go, 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 go. So as we enter, there are venting machines here. I think for, yeah, venting machines for withdrawing the money. Oh, the visa card can work as well. Wow, and this is the hotel lobby. Beautiful. So guys, you just see how easy it is to learn a language. I just learned some words. Salam that you. Salam that you. Okay, I learned. <laughs> now I can speak some few words in the Ethiopian language. Salam that you. That means hello <laughs> okay so i'm excited y'all so see i'm now gaining instead of losing i'm gaining i gained learning some new um, phrases new language so yeah i'll learn some more <laughs>